claim card to be selected by you, the various audience members. So what I thought we'd do is just to, uh, we'll do it now and simply get it out of the way so we don't have to worry about it later on in the show. And being a good magician, I always carry a deck for just such an occasion. And I normally carry this in my trouser pocket because I also carry one slightly larger deck for my jacket pocket. I must have left the backstage. Excuse me, um, Chris, could you please bring out that other deck of cards that's on a glass table? Now, many magicians might use Bicycle or Aviator brand, but I have found Magoon brand, and well, I think they're the best. So let me show them to you. And inside the box, what we have are 52 different and unique playing cards that correspond with this small package. So what I'd like to do is to have three cards selected at random by you, the various audience members. Now, the people in the audience can pick any card at all that they like. Any card at all. Good evening, uh, sir, down here, is it? Yes? Is there anybody there? This gentleman in the white? What's your name, sir? What is it? Fred, what I want you to do, Fred, is um, you're going to pick any card at all that you like, and uh, Fred, why don't you just pick this one? Make it real easy on me. No, I wouldn't ask you to do that. Fred, what I want you to do is just say stop as I riffle down through the cards anywhere along the line you like, and you'll select card number one. All right, Fred, please. All right, right there. All right, here is card number one. Remember that card, all right? I'll show it around just a bit, but it'll be your responsibility to remember that card. All right? And over here in the center section, can a young lady raise her hand? Where's the young lady? Right, right there in the front. Uh, what's your name? Very bashful people. Anyway, Janine, what I want you to do, Janine, is once again say stop anywhere along the line that you'd like. And uh, Janine, you do know when to say stop, don't you? You certainly do. <laughs> just, just my luck. Okay. Anywhere along the line that you pick, right there. Okay, Janine, you'll remember this card. This will be card number two, all right? Put it back in the deck like this. And finally, um, over on the end, what's your name? Melanie, okay. Just to test the mental vibration, see how we're doing tonight. Melanie, name any card out loud out of the deck of 52. Just name one out loud. King of Hearts. Wrong, take off all your clothes. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Just say stop as we go along. Right there? Okay, this will be card number three, okay? Can you remember it? See it? You have your glasses on? Okay. <laughs> and now that I've shown you this small package, I think it's only fair that I show you these large cards as well. Yeah. Now I take the deck out of the box before we continue. And there's certainly a reason behind that. You see, I'd like to have someone come up from the audience and give this deck a quick shuffle. Well, maybe not. We'll save it for tomorrow night. Let me put the cards back into the box, and I will explain what's going to happen. Now, I want the three people that selected cards to concentrate on those cards, and your power of concentration will allow the cards that you've selected to magically rise from the large deck that you see before you. So, we'll close the doors. And in a loud voice, could you name the car that you looked at? What was it? Ace of Hearts. All right, Ace of Hearts. All right, now make your mind completely blank, all right? That's easy? <laughs> okay, make your mind blank, and now concentrate on your card, the Ace of Hearts, all right? The Ace of Hearts, rise. The eighth, you know what I said to make your mind completely blank? Not quite what I had in mind. You see, you have to make your mind blank, but then concentrate on your card. Okay, you've got it. Now we'll give it another try. Ace of, what was it? Ace of hearts, Ace of hearts all right? Ace of hearts, rise. The ace of hearts. Thank you. And the second card that was selected, what was the name of that card? All right. Five of spades, rise. The five of spades, thank you. What? That wasn't your card. What was your card? What was it? 
It wasn't? It was the five, five of clubs? Well, look, if your card is the five of clubs, then watch. Because my card is the five of clubs. I wouldn't cheat you. Not how. Now you've seen two of the selected cards magically rise from the large deck. And I think that three cards in a row would be an absolute miracle. That's right. We're going to give it a try, though, to make it completely fair. I will remove the deck from the box. And your last card will rise in plain sight of everyone here. So here we go. Now, what was the name of the third and the final card? Queen of Hearts. All right, concentrate now. Queen of Hearts. Rod. Um, oh, I know it's wrong. You see, you just can't ask the Queen of Hearts to rise. You must ask Her Majesty to please arise. So we'll have to try something a little bit different. Ladies and gentlemen, the real Queen of Hearts. There we go. Thank you. Let's go for the Queen of Hearts. Thank you, Thank you very much.